Hello, my name's Peter C. Hayward, and I'm going to show you how to play The Lady and the Tiger Labyrinth by Philip Toodle. The Lady and the Tiger Labyrinth is a two-player abstract game. It's a maze game. Uh, at the start of the game, take out one yellow and one white gem, the five blue gems, and the five red gems. Put the other gems aside, you'll not be using them this game. In this game, the blue and the red gems are tiger cubs, and the aim of the game is to rescue all five of your cubs. To set up, take the two wild clue cards and just put them to the side. Put the white token on the lady, and put the yellow token on blue. It always starts on blue lady. Then take the four door cards and put them in the four corners. We're going to build a maze here with cards of the same color in opposite corners. Uh, put all five of the tiger cubs that are red on the red lady and all five of the blue tiger cubs on the blue lady. The aim of the game is to rescue your cubs from these horrible ladies and return them to you, these lovely tigers. Shuffle the remaining 14 clue cards and deal them out so that the final maze is a grid of two by two. As you can see, this game takes up uh, quite a lot of space. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. It's just uh, it's hard to fit on camera. So I'm going to play this sideways, just so you can see it all at once. Uh, these are just dealt out totally at random. And that will determine the starting layout of the maze. Okay, we've got a bit of a red block and a blue block going on here. Each turn in Labyrinth, you'll do two things. Firstly, you'll move one of your tiger cubs orthogonally, so that's up, down, left, right, but not diagonally. Then you will switch two of these clue cards. You can never switch the door cards, you don't switch these ones. You switch any of these maze clue cards, and the rules by which you switch them, are, it's based on where these tokens are. So right now I can switch either two blue cards or two lady cards. Uh, the other rule is that you have to have at least one cub on one of the cards that you're switching. It doesn't have to be your cub, but there has to be at least one cub on at least one of the cards that you're switching. So, because I'm trying to get down to this tiger, I might switch these two cards, which I can do because they're both blue and the token is on blue. After you've switched the cards, you'll move the token. Because I switched two blue cards, I'm going to move this token from blue to red. The other player will then take a turn, they move one of their cubs, and they switch any two cards. Now, uh, so I'm on a red card here, so I'm going to go ahead and switch these two. Now, these are both red, so I was able to switch them. However, they're also both red tigers. Whenever you switch two identical cards, you don't just switch the token of the cards that you, of the type that you moved, you switch both tokens. So if, I, if I'd say switched, uh, switched for this red lady, I would have just switched the red back to blue. But because I switched two identical cards, they're both red tigers, I move both these tokens like that. The other player then takes a turn, I might jump on here, and then, uh, because these are both red, uh, because these are both tiger cards, one of the tokens on tigers, I'm going to switch these back. Doop doop. Because uh, I switched two identical cards, I'll switch both of these tokens. Red player will then take a turn, let's go ahead and move this up here. Uh, and it's on lady and it's on red, so let's switch to ladies. Let's switch to ladies, this one moves from lady to tiger. So you always switch the token of the type of card that you, the similarity that you switched. So because uh, it was on red lady, I had to switch either two red cards or two lady cards. Because I switched two lady cards, I move the token from lady to tiger. Blue, ta blue player then takes a turn. Uh, it's on red tiger right now, so let's move this one to here. And then let's switch these two tigers. If for some reason you can't switch, so let's say all of the cards were as unlikely as this is, let's say they were all on. How do I try to do yeah, that's right. Let's say they were all on blue tigers. Every single token was on a blue tiger at the end of the move. So I move like this. They're all on blue tigers. I can't switch two cards according to the rules of the game. So instead of switching cards, I would just move both tokens. Uh, gameplay continues like this until one player gets all five of their tiger cubs 
onto the tiger door card of their color. As soon as their last tiger moves on, game over, they win. That is Labyrinth. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or send us a message. And thank you for watching.